solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Hi everyone, good morning, it's London Day 4, sure let's go with it. And if you haven't guessed by my sweatshirt, uh, today's Harry Potter Day. I am so excited, if it's a little loud it's because we're here at the bus station just waiting to check in and get on the bus to go to Watford and go to the studio tour. So it's going to be a fun day, uh, I am super excited, I've been waiting for this for months, so I'll definitely take you guys along with me. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay guys, hopefully you can hear me, but we're on the bus, we're on the way to the studio tour, and I forgot to mention, this morning is already magical because our taxi driver took to the bus station actually met Alan Rechnickle a couple times and got to like give him rides. But another cool thing about it is check this out. Guess the movie down below. guys have I got a surprise for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah. I'm in heaven if you can't tell. Hey guys, so after the world's most jerky bus ride ever, we are back in London. We're at Sloan Square right now, but I'm not kidding. Yeah, that bus ride made both my aunt and I feel pretty ill, um, but we're heading to Harrods. It's been such a magical day. You guys, look at all these flowers in honor of the Chelsea Flower Show. It's breathtaking. It's all up and down this street and many other streets. It's even on the mannequins. You guys, this is the fanciest elevator I've ever seen and been in in my life. I feel like I'm staying at the Ritz Carlton right now. What? This is Harrods. <laughs> hey guys, so it's a little later and we're back at the flat just relaxing because I'm exhausted. Aunt dies exhausted. And um, I'm actually just going to end the vlog here because we're literally just going to be going to dinner in a few minutes and coming back, getting showers, and just kind of relaxing. So there's really nothing much more to vlog today, but just so you guys know, because I think I left off with you guys in like the Harrods elevator or something. If you've never been to Harrods, it's pretty much just a classier version of a Macy's. I mean, sorry, people who love Macy's, but it's really, it's true. It's very fancy. It's very upscale. The one downside about Harrods that's a plus with Macy's is that it doesn't have like a reasonably priced section of clothing and shoes and stuff. Pretty much everything is really, really high end 
in there. So that's kind of the one downside. But there's so many more upsides. I mean, it's like a, there are stores in the store, if that makes sense. It's like each floor you go to, there are like 10 plus different stores on like the one floor. And it's pretty, it's like a mall in itself is the best way I can describe it. The food, it looks amazing. We didn't have any, but it looks fantastic. And there's so much of it. So yeah, if you're definitely in London and, you, and you've never been, I recommend just like going through it. I mean, it took Aunt Di and I probably about 30 minutes to go through the floors that we wanted to go through. And it was just really cool seeing everything. And hopefully maybe one day I can buy some of the stuff in there. Um, but yeah, the Harry Potter tour was absolutely amazing. It was so magical and wonderful. And it was just incredible to, you know, be where they filmed it and you knowing that like they walked on those sets and they used those sets and just learning about the history of it was pretty cool and um yeah so to end the vlog like i've been doing the last couple nights i'm going to show you guys what i got today uh, i didn't get a lot today tomorrow night will probably be more of a haul um because I'm, we're actually going shopping tomorrow, and sorry if the camera's moving, my arms are t really tired, so I'm switching back and forth, but, so the first thing I'm going to show you, I actually got as a gift for my dad, and if you're wondering why I'm filming all these gifts, it's because by the time these videos go up, like, all these gifts are going to be given to the people that I got them for, so it's not really going to matter, but, so the first thing I did get from the Harrod Bookstore are these two books, if I can get them out for my dad because he's really into like how the world works and like things like that so I got him these books uh wealth secrets of the one percent the truth about money markets and multimillionaires by Sam Wilkin it looks pretty good again I'm not one for this stuff but my dad is and then utopia for realists and how we can get there again another like how we can reach to t utopian society and this is by Rutger Bregman so that's what I got for my dad that was literally the only like gift I bought today well actually I lied I can't say that and then my aunt actually my aunt Di actually got this for her sister my other aunt Becky from the studio tour and it's really just like the new edition of the making of the studio tour and it kind of just goes through everything that we saw today and this would be really good for um, my other aunt uh, so because hopefully she'll be able to come here one day but if not she'll have that and then something I got for myself I got this t-shirt sorry guys I'm doing this with one hand so forgive the poor camera quality um ah, I can't get it so I got this t-shirt that is I solemnly swear that and if you look up here it's a sun activated design so I'm assuming I haven't tested it out yet because obviously I just bought it today but um, I'm assuming that once I get in the sun, sun, sun um, I solemnly swear the that I'm up to no good part will appear maybe somewhere down here. Um, I will let you guys know if it works. Uh, it might not be for a while because I don't plan on wearing the shirt till after I get home. But yeah, and then the other two things I got, if I can get them, I got this as a gift for my friend Julia because she's a huge Harry Potter fan as well. And this is a Deathly Hallows necklace, and she really, she wears a lot of necklaces, so I thought this would be perfect for her. And yes, it's the same Julia that was in my Florida vlog, if you guys are wondering. And then the last thing I got today was for me, and it's just this Hedwig keychain. You can... Eh, see and the little pendant says it's just you know if it'll focus looks like it's not going to it's just the making of the Harry Potter studio tour and yeah so it was so I like keychains so this was really good for me and like I said I love Hed Hedwig so that's everything I got today. Uh, hopefully, I'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be pretty long because I think I filmed every single room in that tour. Just did like a once over for you guys, which you guys will have already seen before this clip. So I'm sorry to be cutting tonight's vlog short, but or early. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you've ever been to Harrods or. Um, or the Harry Potter Studio Tour. What was your favorite part of either of those places? That's all I have for you guys today. I love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.